Assalamu alaikum. I'm your friend Kashi. Welcome to Kashi's Digital Headquarter. This is a beginner essential series of introduction to artificial intelligence. A quick disclaimer, this information presented here is my own understanding and research and does not represent my employer or any other organization. What it means that words are my own and are only for informational and educational purpose. So let's get started with the name of God. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Rabbi Shahar Li Sadri Wa Yassir Li Amri Wa Halul Uqdatan Min Lisani Wa Yafkuhu Koli All right, and with that, this beginner essential series on artificial intelligence will cover the history of AI, overview of the AI, different type of application, different type of tool, the ethics, the opportunities you have, or the impact on the society and also I'll share some learning resources for you. This is meant to give you a comprehensive overview of the current AI advancement and how you can take advantage of all of these. I developed this episode series is to give everyone a high level overview of what is happening in the industry. So you don't have to search or find too technical information or too high level information. Hopefully this will suffice the need and you will be able to talk to everybody and explain them what artificial intelligence is. Let's get started with today's episode. In this chapter, we are going to talk about AI history and a brief overview of artificial intelligence, uh, high level architecture and the real world example and what actually it takes to create an artificial intelligence program. So do you think the AI is a recent technological breakthrough? Well, it is actually not, right? You might be hearing about artificial intelligence recently, more often than before, and especially on the social media. However, it is not a new concept. It has been in the works for a long time. It used to be into the fairy tales or things we watch in the movies, but now it is becoming a reality and an action that we expect computer programs to do. Like Professor Fai Fai Li described that AI is not a noun anymore, it's a verb. So now let's look at it, how it actually started. Some of, let's look back in the history. Back in 1950, Alan Turing was the first person who published the research paper called Can Machine Things? That actually started, technically started, the works on the artificial intelligence. But for some time, the research was going on, it didn't call it artificial intelligence. Later in 1956, the first milestone of the world in the world of AI happened when Dharmoth, another scientist, coined the term artificial intelligence, which extending the work of Turing, uh, and therefore he is also named as father of AI. There have been few major milestones since then in the field of AI. So let's take a quick look uh, what are the major milestones happened since then. So throughout the years from 1950 to 2023, AI has achieved remarkable milestones and that has shaped the evaluation of and uh, this world and have bigger impact. So in 1950, as we heard and saw Alan Turing introduce uh, Turing test. That was a landmark concept for evaluating machine intelligence through human-like conversation. Then there were computer versus human Right, experiment happened where you have seen chess competition, chess master was beaten by computer, Alpha Go, which is a very complicated game, was beaten by computer, and AI was able to beat all those uh, humans into these complex games. Fast forward to 2022, right? You saw the Chat GPT was announced and launched back in 9, November 2022, and amazingly, it reached 1 million users in five days. Where other social platform, it took them years, months, weeks, not five days. So that tells you and showcase the global embrace of artificial intelligence. This is where you see everywhere AI, AI, the better possible. So now the basic question we should be asking is, what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence basically means making machines like computers, right? smart enough to think like humans and do the work like humans do. 
And this is all done by developing computer software program and hardware and make machines intelligence like robots that you see. You might have seen in many sci-fi movies like Terminator, Mission Impossible, where robots and machines become smarter than humans and they took over. Uh, but this is uh, one of the major concerns of the AI and people are talking about it. But however, we are not there yet, so we don't have to worry about it. That's still in the movies only. AI has many useful applications in our day-to-day -day life, and we currently already using it. For example, if you have electric car, Tesla self-driving cars, right? A smart assistant like Siri or uh, Amazon Echo, Alexa, uh, and they are using natural language processing to respond to you. Uh, many automated robots in manufacturing, in distribution, even like in Amazon fulfillment center, right? Cars are assembled by robots. They all are being done by artificial intelligence. So this is what the artificial intelligence is all about. Now we know what is an AI. Let's take a little bit deeper dive into what different various level of artificial intelligence are that can help machine things like human. So you might hear these terms when you are reading about AI or searching about it. These are the three different levels of intelligence that uh, describe the capability of AI. Uh, the first one is ANI, Artificial Narrow Intelligence. This is designed to do and perform a specific tasks uh, such as playing chess, playing AlphaGo, or uh, which is capable of performing uh, any intelligent task that human do, repeated tasks, for example, right, from that perspective, recognizing faces and all those. We have already seen it, it happens. The second level is AGI. Artificial Journal Intelligence, which is capable of performing any intellectual task that human can do, uh, like ChatGPT that you heard that was launched or probably used, and text image generators that we have and so on. So those are our more part of AGI. The third one, the level of intelligence for the artificial intelligence is, is ASI, Artificial Super Intelligence which is expected to surpass the human intelligence in all aspects, right? It's also called it like God mode. They, we are not there. This is just in the movie, so don't worry about it. Uh, while narrow AI have been achieved, journal and super AI, they both are in the realm of possibility and have not been achieved yet, right? So we, we don't need to worry about it. I'll go further into this level and go deeper. We are not data scientists. Now that we understand that different that different level of AI, and uh, let's take a basic architectural look, how the artificial intelligence works. So in simple terms, if I need to describe you how, and very high level, right? What are the key component of artificial intelligence? These are the three pillars of AI in, in an architecture flow, how it works. Very simplified view. All the AI system, they have fed some input, right? And there, it could be data, it could be observation, it could be text, anything. That's the input come. Now, let's look at, at a very high level, just assume an AI system is a black box that you have, that receive all this input information, right? And it process through this to different uh, computer program, algorithms, and different type of, for different type of purposes. And then it process and analyze the data, and lastly, this whole black box gave you an output, right? And output based on its analysis that you have. So the entire process, input, process, and output, uh, is very complex. I describe it very simplistically, but we don't need to become, as I said before, data scientists or programming that we need to add a layman person to understand all the detail what happened in that black box, right? We just need to understand this is how it works. If that's what we are trying to learn, what is AI high level, how it works. Now, let me just unpack one more layer of AI uh, of this black box, right? To give you a little bit more context. So you may hear these terms when someone, if you search Google or just talking to someone or some computer science graduate, they will start talking about these terms when learning about AI is AL, ML, deep learning, machine learning, artificial intelligence, these. So what are these? Let's, let's unpack that. All right, so these terms actually refers to the core pieces of artificial intelligence. 
uh, that are built on each other. So artificial intelligence, the first one is, is like making machines simulating human behavior. That's the first one. Now, second one is uh, machine learning, ML. It is the machine learning is a subset of AI and it that learns from data. So all the information that is coming in the blog world, that's like machine learning, learning about from the data. And deep learning, that's the third one, is a subset of that machine learning that actually uses some complex algorithm like neural networks and all those, right? And try to learn more about it and make decisions and so on. These technologies can create values, they can offer us new value proposition uh, and also enable innovation and disruption. And that's what we are seeing right now in 2023. So the question comes to mind, now we know what AI system, how they work and these things. So how do you program this computer? What programming languages do you use for this software? Well, we use software programming languages to program AI system as well, like we do any other software development. But programming languages for the AI, they differ from those from the traditional development that you have, right? AI programming is not just about if then else, right? Or about writing code, but also using data and algorithms to make the software learn and adapt. That's the key. This means that AI programmer need to use different techniques and different tools to compare to the traditional software development. Some of the most popular programming languages for the AI are Python, R, Java, C++, Lips, and people use Java, C++ for other, and Python also for other software development as well. But for AI, these are the most commonly used. There are more. So now we know what AI, how it's architect, how it works. Now let's look at some real world examples. Here is a very simple example. Uh, of AI in action, which is a, a robotic dog with the AI and some sensors and the programming and all that. The robot toy can interact with the humans and do tricks like a real dog it, uh, you have. You can see on this slide that it uses many different sensors. Uh, written down there is, like for example, the eyes are cameras, right? And uh, it has the, uh, for the ears, it has microphones so it can listen in. And then uh, uh, the mouth is the speaker. Right? In the head, there's a lot of microprocessor and for the programs written in there to help it perform the action. Now, it uses AI and those signals from these sensors to understand the command and perform actions. So for example, uh, if you tell it fetch the ball and you throw the ball, right? And it's gonna recognize that action, recognize the command and go fetch the ball, right? And play with you. And it learns more about you and your preferences as you play more and more. This is how AI can create a fun and engaging experience with us because learning from itself, right? Now, let's look at a little bit more complex advanced example which are happening in our world in day-to-day -day life that we are using. You may not know, you're already using some of those. So here are some AI examples. And uh, natural language processing, which we call it NLP. Machine learning, we talked about it ML. And computer vision. So let's talk one by one for each one of those. So NLP is AI for language, right? Like voice assistant, chatbot. These can understand your commands in plain English and reply you accordingly. For example, when you ask, what is the weather today to Siri? It can respond back to them. Or Alexa. Machine learning is AI for learning from data, as we mentioned. Machine learning subset of AI, learn from data, right? Uh, it, it does and like recommendation or uh, face recognition is doing those are used by Amazon when you're purchasing the product it says this, this another product you may be interested in or if you are watching a Netflix movie it said you might be interested in this movie genre as well or this movie as well all of these recommendation products these are all being done by machine learning looking at a lot of data and processing a lot of data now third one is computer vision the AI for images and videos. That's the vision part is, right? Like self-driving car, right? You're doing medical imaging, for example, if uh, the AI now can read the x-ray and give a report to radiologists to view and uh, may identify some cancer or other stuff because it can process more way faster than human. 
It can look at millions or hundreds of thousands of x-rays compared to a human being that you one by one. AI can solve problems and create values in a lot of different fields for them, in a lot of different domains. We will learn more about it as we move forward in the course that what are the different domains and impact for the AI is. All right, now let's look at next step. So if you want to learn more and go a little bit deeper uh, in the overview of AI, I would recommend these following resources. Uh, you have Google course, play with uh, your uh, Siri, Alexa, or search on the uh, search on the Google, say how Amazon and Netflix use AI, right? So this, up till now, I know it is a, a 20 minutes kind of a high level concept, high level overview of introduction to artificial intelligence and what are the core components of this. I hope you understand and you can explain this to other people. What are the core component of AI, a little bit history of this. So that concludes our today's episode. Don't forget to follow me on uh, Kashi DHQ, the Kashi Digital Headquarter. On our social media platform, you'll find this handle and provide your feedback if this is helpful. And please feel free to share this with your friends and family. Uh, finally, uh, a sneak peek of what the next session is about. Now we know the overview of AI. We are going to talk about what is this whole buzz about generative AI, chat GPT, and what are the prompts, what are the large language model, what are the LLMs, and how they are related. I'm going to go a little bit deeper on this and give you the second session will be awesome. Like you will get some really fun examples you will see in action how ChatGPT works, how different prompt works. So please don't forget to sign up, uh, go to kashiyamad.com. You know, you can sign up and register uh, uh, there for the update. And anytime we have do new blog or videos and publish, you will be the first one to hear about it. Click on the social media, subscribe, follow, click the bell icon for any social media that you use. I'm there, we'll be posting everywhere, right? And you will get notification when the next episode comes and I'll do my best to do on the weekly basis. Alright, stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Allah Peace.